Kathy, I'm Charlene Chamberlain, and we have Jenny Fuchs on the line. Jenny Fuchs is a flyweight boxer, and she is vying to represent the U.S. at the 2016 Olympics. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to have you back on with us. We talked to you, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. So that's, what has that's been, right. What's been happening with you since our last conversation? Well, um, I just got back from Kazakhstan about three weeks ago from okay. World, and that was our last qualifying tournament to make it to the to Rio. All right. And um, unfortunately, I lost my second fight. I got a bad decision. Me and my coach thought I had won, and my whole team thought I had won. Oh. I talked to a lot of people. They thought I had won, but that, that, that happens with this sport a lot. I actually saw a lot of bad decisions in this tournament. Right. So um, right now... I'm back at the Olympic Training Center, and we started the Olympic ca uh, Olympic training camp um, this Monday. Great. So right now I'm training. I'm training for Rio because I'm waiting for the wild card pick. So there's so there's 12 spots that get to go to Rio. So 11 girls have qualified right now. So that one spot goes to the wild card pick, which means IEBA, which is the International Boxing Association, gets together. And they look at who hasn't qualified yet and who will bring um, the most competition to the Olympics, who hasn't qualified yet, and they pick that country. Wow. So in my eyes, in my eyes, I think they'll pick me because well, I've done really we're, well the past year. We're, I beat we're really two bronze real. medalists and uh, one gold, one world champion, right. and one silver world champion. So. Well, we're all rooting for you, so I hope you are the wild card pick. In our eyes, you are here at Radio Vision. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Jenny, uh, let's go back to the early days. You really didn't start boxing until you were, I believe, a sophomore. Was it a sophomore in college? Correct, yes. Yeah, how, mm -hmm. what, what got you interested in boxing? Well, I, I had met a professional boxer, and I became really, really good friends with him. And I was helping him out. He needed a a ride to the gym for to train for a fight he was getting ready for. Okay. So I watched him train, and, you know, I got to watch his fight and win. And so I just became really interested in the sport. So um, I kind of wanted to, you know, get back in shape. And so I asked if he could take me to where he started as an amateur boxer. And um, for about two weeks, you know, I picked up the technique, picked it up really fast, and the coach at the gym saw, came up to me and said, you have a lot of potential, I'd love to train you. Um, and to, to compete and fight, and I immediately said yes. Wow. Um, and, and so I started training with him and started fighting, and I took it serious. And then as time went on, they announced that they were having women boxing in the 2012 London Games. And I shot for that. I shot for that Olympics. Didn't make it. So then I dedicated my time to make it to the 2016 Rio Olympics. And right. Like, now here I am. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, you know, you must learn a lot because you're a woman in basically a man's world when it comes to boxing. Can you share some insight on that? Yeah, yeah we, have, we have, you know, to deal with a lot because of that. It's gotten a lot better over the years. But, um, yeah, the men used to get treated a whole, like, they used to get everything they asked for. Um, we kind of were pushed to the side, like, you know, they were like, uh, the women, you know, women shouldn't be boxing, but we'll let them do it anyway kind of thing. We, we you know, we fought for, to have, have us in the Olympics for so long, for right. many, many years, and we right. finally got it in 2012. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to get better, and actually... Because in 2012, the, the USA women team did so much better than the men that now we're getting, well, you know, we're getting more attention. We're getting more money. Our program's getting more money so we can do more and we can travel more to more competitions. We can, we, now we have a lot more multi-nation camps, which means we're inviting a whole lot of countries over here to the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs to do training camps with us. So, you know, we, we're allowed to, we, we have that opportunity. So it's getting better, but it took a long time to get to this point. Yeah, and I'm sure it's still going to be an uphill battle, you know, because, I'm, because it is a male-dominated sport. But I am so proud of all of these women that are really stepping out and doing this. It's, it's pretty wonderful. 
Thank you. So, thank you, thank you, know, thank you. What do you do when you get into a funk or have like an off day? Do you have a special thing that you do? Well, I try like, uh, yeah, I have my, I'll have my off days, but I'll look at that as, you know, because we all do and I see it from my other teammates. So I'll just go back and not try not to get frustrated. I'm like, okay, why was I having an off day? I'll look at what what was happening, like what was I, what was I struggling with? Mm -hmm. And um, then the next day, I'll go and I'll specifically work on that. Right. So I, I, I look at it as mostly as a learning experience instead of like, oh, why why am I having this problem? What's wrong? What's wrong? You know, like, right. I don't let it get me down or I don't let it, you know, I don't let it mentally frustrate me. I just make it, I'm like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is good that I actually look at it as a good opportunity um, for me to, for me to work on for the next day like okay this is you know I learned this this day and I'm going to improve it for the next yeah that's a great attitude and you know instead of taking that negative energy you're turning it into, into something positive and helping you go forward with your career um, can, right, you give exactly. some, can you give some advice to girls that are thinking about joining the sport well kind of like we've been talking about you know um, like it, it's been a male dominant sport for the, for many years but y'all girls cannot look at that you know we've us women these past couple of years have done so much for the sport and you just got to go in there with a, with a with a positive attitude and right. and you know you got to dedicate your time because this um the sport is you know no joke mm -hmm. um you got to be you got to take care of yourself and you just got to stay positive and believe in yourself. You know, keep pushing. There's going to be down moments. There's going to be obstacles you're going to go through. But, you know, that's 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 life. And you let, this, this sport will teach you a lot about yourself and a lot about how to deal with any situation in life. So mm -hmm. they just got to, you know, the main thing is believe in yourself and, and do what you want to do no matter what anybody says. That's right. Keep going forward and believe in yourself. Great advice, Jenny. Well, Jenny, we wish you the best of luck with the wild card pick. I'm hoping you get it. Our fingers are crossed here at Radio Vision. And once again, it was so great to have you with us again this morning on Morning Coffee. So best of luck. Thank you so much, Yes, It was nice to talk to you guys again. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is Charlene Chamberlain for Morning Coffee. Stay with us. We have some more fun guests on the way.